Do you like uh, uh, Kenyan vibe or Spanish vibe? It depends. Like if you ask me about the transport, I like the Kenyan vibe better because matatu <laughs> in I do the answer by the way. Now I'm testing. Ebuka, the answer now I'm testing. What's all this? Introduce the one I'm kuliza. For example, the kuliza. Gina, what you doing? Sophie Komeyan. Sophie Komeyan, you know, smile. Sophie Komeyan. Mhm. Ah, where are you from? Um, from Kenya. And what's your name? I'm Lola. Ebuka, you're going to go to school. Eh, we're not finding our testing. Eh, we're not finding testing. Lona. Lona. Where are you from? I'm from Finland. Cut your kids. I'm not going to do it. 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 Oh, you're going to go to the house. 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 you She's single and not such. Guy, I'm going to go. We're just testing, testing, testing. Yeah, I think, I think. Yeah, I think this place has a nice, has a, has a cool, like a mixture of. Uh, nice vibes. Nice vibe. Light yeah, and light and. Uh, let me, let me just see. So. What's up, what's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chef Machiko. If you're new here, thank you so much uh, for stopping by. I'm here with two beautiful ladies from Kenya we just met today. Ah, it's, uh, it is my second time. Third? Yes. Third time. Okay. But with Tofi, what's your name? Sophie, Sophie Komeyan. But Tofi? Tofi is my nickname, Instagram <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with Tofi. She's a beautiful lady from Kenya and... Uh, so I'll be just giving them, uh, doing with them a quick interview so that we get to know what's happening live as black ladies here in Spain because we need to know guys because they are from Kenya. For how long have you been here? You say? Three years. Three years. How is life here in Spain? Nice. Cool. Not <laughs> complaining. So you have everything minus boyfriend or girlfriend? <laughs> what do you prefer? Boyfriend or girlfriend? Boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, 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 what about you? Do you, okay. you, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Really? No, no, because I'm just, I just want uh, to know. I'm curious, okay. guys, because no. I. Is here, that... no. Here, no. Totally single, yes. Here? <laughs> in, in Kenya? In Kenya, yes. Uh, so, boy, boy, my fr boyfriend. <laughs> Alright, so, how, how has been life here? It's been okay, you can't complain. Everything is nice, chilled out. What do you miss uh, from home? Oh, the food. I really miss why is, the food. Why, why is everybody talking about food, guys? <laughs> I think everybody's talking about food where, wherever I do interview. What about you? The other day I did it. Oh. What are you drinking? Nothing. I have nothing. You just finished. Yeah. Uh, what kind of... Sayuki Ugen, you are... If now uh, you land in Kenya, what would you request or ask? Oh, wow. Ugali, nyamachoma, kachumbali, gone. <laughs> You know, with a bit of pepper kombali. So guys, uh, talking about kachumbari, nyamachoma is barbecue, right? Yeah, barbecue. So nyamachoma mbuzi ama ngombe? Ngombe. <laughs> it's, and, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, you told me you are a Maasai. Yes, I am. Guys, it's the first time that I do an interview with the Maasai guys. Maasai are always beautiful and Kalenjin. Yeah? yeah? Maasai. You're from? Ngong. Ngong. So, what is the difference between life in Gong and life in Madrid, Spain? Everything from transport, infrastructure, come, uh, come here. the people, the vibe, everything. Everything is totally different. So, I, I just make uh, me understand. What about the vibe? Do you like... Uh, uh, Kenyan vibe or Spanish vibe? Mm -hmm. 
it depends like if you ask me about the transport i like the kenyan vibe better because matatu zinachuna <laughs> <laughs> matatu in Achuna. Guys, I should do a video about uh, Matatu. Uh, in when Kenya. I, oh, yeah, Matatu in Kenya when I'll be in Nairobi. So, so about transport, but in Achuna, but are you. And uh, what about transport here? Transport here is affordable, common. You won't get stranded. You won't get stranded. And like, you have. At least if you have to go somewhere, you'll make it on time because of the. Oh, wow. So I've not asked you, for how long have you been here? Jeez, one year. One year? Ah, you should have Yeah. Life is good. Oh, I can't complain too. <laughs> you can't complain? Yeah. Have you ever yeah, got yeah. any challenges maybe here in yeah. uh, Madrid? I got the first challenge. Uh, when I came here, mm -hmm. I guess I was newly. I barely know nothing. I didn't even know how to say hi in Spanish. Yeah. Language. And uh, when I came here newly, I was sick. Like really, really sick. Oh. Change then uh, climate. I, I, I guess it's the change of climate. Yeah. Then uh, I had an insurance card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I had to go to the hospital by myself because my sister was working by then. So that was the biggest challenge. Yes, when I got to the hospital, like the the people there, they were doing a customer care services. They didn't know nothing in English, so uh -huh. I was stranded until I was crying in the hospital. You know. Wow. <laughs> it Too was, sad. Too, too hectic. That was the worst day of me I recorded up to today in Spain. Oh wow, yeah. that was so... I sat down and cried because I because no you never help knew how to... at all, yes. Guys, I, I don't want to, to repeat that because she's speaking in English and uh, you understand. Entonces, yeah. talking about hospital, uh -huh. you went to a public hospital? No, a private hospital. Private hospital, yes. why? Because I am a student and students, they are not allowed to go to, to public, go to public hospital. hospitals. Yes. Wow. So I had a, my insurance card. So ah, insurance card, card pays. Yes, uh, I pay uh, for uh, it. Every all month right, I get it. So after that, life was okay. Yeah, <laughs> I had to learn Spanish. So it was hectic. That is the most challenge a lot of people face here, not especially yeah, not me alone. Mm -hmm. A lot of people at first time. Yes. And what what is your maybe? the moment until today you say maybe that beautiful moment that you remember will always remind you about Spain uh, when um, at first day I went to interview them I, I, this, like I was excuse me excuse uh -huh. me is the sun too much yes, yes come this way please because yeah because we are, we are good no coffee no, yeah, it's okay. It's okay there. Yeah, oh, it's right. okay. So uh -huh, you're telling me, mm -hmm. you're telling, what she was I telling us something. The greatest experience I've ever had here, or the good moment I've ever had here, is um, apart from um, meeting good people and bad people here, mm -hmm. uh, I might say it was my luck, or I don't know. And uh, one day I was looking for work. I was really, really looking for work so desperately. Then one day I walk into one office. I was like, I didn't know Spanish that really good, but I tried. And when I entered there, I didn't know what to say, but I guess my Spanish, my Spanish just came came out fluently. And at first I got a job in Spain. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, is, is it me is working oh, wow. or someone else? Yeah, wow, it was really, really impressive. So when I went to bed, I was like, is that me? I guess that is the greatest moment I've ever wow. had here. Guys, if you don't know, it's not easy to get a job here. Okay, it's easier compared to maybe where I come from, but it's not that easy as people think. What about you, Tofi? I can call you Tofi. Yes, you can. Well, yeah. I don't know. My bad moments mm -hmm. were when I arrived here. I came here in January and quarantine started in March. Uh -huh. You're working with a new family. Uh, you don't know. You barely know them. You, you have to be quarantined together. It was before even we go there. Um, you're working with family, so you work with the family. I was. Are you work? All right, continue. Yeah. And then that was like the biggest, biggest challenge I can say I faced because and, mm -hmm. getting to stay with a family for more than a year, you don't yeah, know you, them. Yeah, it's hard. They're new. You hardly know Spanish. Okay. You you went to like you are getting used to going to school every day yeah, yeah. making new friends and ah. everything mm -hmm. but that changed all of a sudden like one night mm -hmm. like quarantine started mm -hmm. where do you start where could you start 
Uh, I think it's uh, it's very hard. Yeah, it's, it was it was really hard. I was thinking of going back home. I was like, well, why would I go back home? Why would they start back home? I've left everything and I've moved to Spain. But then, luckily, I met my best friend Shiko, and we supported each other through, through, through the, the quarantine, hard, hard time. talking, you know, chatting, you know, like, and then. My good experiences are like traveling. You travel a lot? Yes, Spain? I do. Wow. Like, like I, I, I love traveling. So, so you love... Uh, what is the, uh, uh, the most beautiful destination here in Spain? Uh, well, I have a variety depending. Well, the, the best, best is Almuñécar. It's in Andalusia. Yeah. It has crystal water beaches wow. like, with nice views. It's a chilled place here. Yeah. And also Cadiz. Cadiz is very, very nice. It has beautiful beaches and beautiful colors. Wow, incredible. So, Tony Rudicuaco, what kind of uh, Spanish food do you like most? Tortilla. Tortilla patata. Yes. <laughs> and what about you? Oh, paella. Paella, paella negra. Uh, paella, is, uh, paella is a typical Spanish rice, and tortilla patata is a uh, Spanish omelet. So, they are both delicious. So, guys, this was toffee. Lona. Lona. And uh, how did you come to Spain? I came to Spain as an au pair. Ah, au pair? Yes. So you were in Kenya? Yeah. And you came to Spain as... As an au pair and then through that I moved along and I changed my life. I advanced. Alright. So I'm going to have that story with her. And how, how did you come to Spain? Student. No. Student. Yeah. So I'll get you. Uh, I, will, I need to tell these two different stories because they carry a lot of, of information. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video uh, until the end. Tell them to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Matiko's channel. He's he has very good content. You're gonna love it. So, guys. Uh, <laughs>